Welcome to another Swift UI tutorial. My name is Josh Kinney, and in this one, you're probably here for three reasons. Either A, you want to see how to implement a YouTube video in your Swift UI app, B, how to add a toolbar to the keyboard in your Swift UI app, or you just want to hang out with me and hear me talk. Now, probably that last option is not why you're here. So let's go ahead and look at the app we'll be building and get you uh, learning on how to actually implement that YouTube video and also that toolbar. So what we'll have is a text field here. Whenever you click on it, the keyboard will pop open and then you'll see this here. Now I went ahead and added this to say click to laugh. This is a button. We can put whatever we want here and say whatever we want to say. Uh, the cool thing about this one is whenever you click on it, it's going to take us to a new view, which is going to have our YouTube video in here. Then you can actually play it. And the actual video, funny, will actually start playing. So now let's go ahead and build this thing. So let me explain what I have so far in the app. In the content view, I have a state for some text, which is passed into this text field. If you guys don't know how to do a text field in Swift UI, I have a video out, so does a ton of other people. So go look at that first so you understand the text field. I'm not gonna spend time on that right now. Uh, the next thing I'm doing is I'm tracking uh, this fall or this boolean with a state variable because we need it for this navigation link. So we're setting this go to funny view to false. Whenever this turns true, this is active will turn true and then the destination will go to the funny view. So then it'll pop over to that. That's all I got set up so far right now. Uh, what we need to do is look at the funny view that I made. And this is all I created was a view that says funny view and I have not even touched anything inside of it. Still saying hello world like normal. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're gonna create a video view. And what this will do is if you have multiple videos throughout your app, you can actually use this video uh, view over and over again. So I'll show you what that looks like. The first thing we want to do is we want to go up here and go to um, new file, make this a Swift file. Next, we're going to call this video view. Go ahead and hit create there. And we want to import Swift UI. And we also want to import WebKit. So Go ahead and do that, and now let's create a struct. So your struct, we're gonna name this video view. I spelt that all wrong. And then this is going to be of type UI view representable. So we're actually creating a wrapper so we can access uh, stuff from WebKit. Okay, so what we're gonna need in here, first off, is a function. Um, and it's going to break until we get these protocols in. So the first function, we're going to do make UI view. Go ahead and hit enter. But instead of some view, we're going to go ahead and erase that. And we're going to make it a WK web view. That's what we want to return. And then down here, just return it. So WK web view. There we go. Next function, go ahead and do update that UI view. Okay, and then here for the code, we're going to do a couple of things. First, do a guard statement. So guard let, and we're going to find that YouTube URL that we're going to go out and find for our YouTube video. So go ahead and do YouTube URL, and we're going to set this to be a URL of type stream. And now I'll type this out just so you can get it, but this is going to be HTTPS colon forward slash forward slash www.youtube.com and then forward slash embed. Okay, so that is going to be in front of any video that you can find on YouTube. Okay, now the next part is important. We want to create up here. So go back up here above your struct and let's just create a URL ID. So let URL ID equal our B of type string and we're gonna pass this one in. This is what's going to be different for each of your videos. So we can pass it in by doing the forward slash, oh, I'm sorry, backslash, and then adding this guy in. URL ID, there it is. So now we're gonna be passing that guy in whatever it is. 
Okay. Now, else we got to fix uh, finish our uh, guard statement. So else we're just going to return like always. So simple return statement there. If that is good though, we're going to grab that UI view, which is coming in right here, which is what we returned up here. And we're going to do first a scroll view dot is scroll view to enabled and we're going to set that to be false and that's just so whenever you're playing your video they can, the user can't scroll up and down um, it makes for a really bad view and it's annoying so you want to make sure you turn that scroll view off so we're setting that to false false then we're going to do ui view dot load and then we're going to do a url And you can see that request there. And then what are we going to pass in a URL? Which one? The one that we we've made up here. So YouTube URL. Okay. That should build. That should take care of that. Great. So now we already did this. I'm going to make this a little bit prettier. Oops. There's that. We can even close this in a little bit since there's not many lines of code. Um, you cannot return that. Oh, we forgot to initialize this guy here. So go ahead and initialize that. Um, little spaces there. That looks good to me. Um, now let's go up to our funny view. And now we're going to actually create this too, which is going to be very, very simple. So the first thing you want to do is go right here, get rid of this text and just make it a video view. Cause that's what we just created. And now look, we could pass that URL ID that we created. So that's gonna be a string there. I'll come back to that in a minute, but we wanna do a frame. So we're gonna set that frame to be, I'm gonna do 400 by 300. So it's a little bit uh, wider than it is tall. And then you can make this center or you can get rid of the alignment, whatever you prefer. Let's go and talk about this URL ID though, real quick. So I'm going to pull in this guy here and we're just going to go to youtube and i'm going to click on the very first video here so if i click on this guy here this roblox video not a good video exit that let's go it's an ad i'm sorry let's click on this guy here so pause that real quick but you can see right here after youtube you get this equal sign anything after that equal sign that is your id that we're wanting so we're going to copy and use this one for now. Um, so forget about everything else after the equal signs, what you need to copy. Okay. Go back into your app and that's what you're going to put in this right here. Now you could go out and, and fetch this if you wanted to as well, but we're just going to hard code here. You can also throw um, a variable up top here and set it, but I'm going to hard code it. So I'm going to copy paste that there. Um, and now we're going to see if this will build correctly for us. Okay, so our build was successful. I'm back in our content view now, but let me show you real quick what we have going on. Inside the simulator, we have click to laugh, which is what we created here. Um, but you can see that the text, and I can hit return, but you can see that on the text, there's nothing here. We don't have anything special. You know, it's just the normal text that you get in your um, keyboard. So let's go ahead and add that toolbar now. So right here under this text field, that's where that toolbar part gets put. And all you do is you do dot toolbar, if I knew how to spell. So you do dot toolbar, and then inside there, you're gonna actually add our toolbar item group. And then from there, you'll add your parentheses, and we can do a placement. And the placement is going to be a dot keyboard. You know, you can access other placements, but for this to go on the keyboard, that's how you do it. Then you come over here to this content part, go ahead and hit enter, and you can add your code here. Now this is where you can add whatever you want to do, whatever you want it to say. I'm going to add a button because that's what I want it to be and that's how I want it to act. So with your button, uh, actually we're gonna, Oh, it's not auto correcting that. So let me see really quick. We'll just we'll just write it all out. So our button, what we want to happen is we want it to go to funny view, which is this up here, and we just want to toggle that. 
So as soon as we click on that button, it toggles, then our navigation link will actually happen. Okay, then after that, we wanna add our label. And then when the label, what do we wanna call this? Now this is what we can, I'm gonna do a text. And that's where you saw in the very beginning, the emojis. You can do whatever you want. I'm just gonna do the same thing. So um, emoji, just click one. And then I'm gonna do click to laugh. I don't, I don't even know what that video that I clicked on was. So it might not even be a funny video. So it kind of won't even make sense. But I just wanna show that it's working. So there it is, click the laugh. Um, let me get bi hit build. And you're gonna get this, it's only available in iOS 15 or newer. So you can add the at sign here. Um, here, I'll show you. If you hit fix, it'll say, hey, if available, go ahead and add all this and then you can add your fallback here. I don't like doing that if we don't need it. So um, I'm gonna take that back. If you go into your actual project here and you go into your build settings, and you scroll down. In my last video, I mentioned this as well. You can go to this iOS 14 and just go all the way up to 15. And then that's gonna take care of that for you. Now, if this is a project at work, um, you know, and you only set it to 15, any devices with older than 15 on it, it's not gonna be able to get this app. But you can see that handle that error. Now let's go ahead and run this guy. So now let's see if it's working. I will go ahead and open up a simulator here. We're gonna click the laugh. Great, click the laugh. And we're getting an error here. So we have an issue with the actual URL or something. So let's start by going back to our funny video real quick. Um, or I'm sorry, video view. And I can see what I did here. So after this embed, we don't have a forward slash. So we're not gonna be able to pass this guy in. This is gonna be all one word without that forward slash. And now that that built, now we're going to try it. So click the laugh. There it is. Click the laugh again. And now we have a working link. I'm not going to click on this. Um, playing guitar, drunk versus sober. Okay, so that was the link I clicked on. But now we know that it is working. And it is showing the same width and height that we set as well. If you want to go back, you can because we wrapped that in a navigation view. Um, I will say right now too, before I end this video, as of right now with Swift UI, you have to wrap this in a navigation view for this part to work with the toolbar. Um, also, this needs to be a V stack or an H stack to be wrapped in here for this navigation uh, link to work perfectly as well. And that's going to do it for this video. I hope it was quick and beneficial for you. Um, if you did like it, go ahead and hit a thumbs up. If you want to see my upcoming content, hit that bell. And as always, Please subscribe to my channel if you have not yet, as it helps get my content out to others. Thank you so much, and I hope you have a wonderful day.